Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Black Shark 3, and today I'll show you how to use and also set up the screen recording option. So, to get started, you want to go to notification, and on the second page, you will have the screen recorder. So, you want to hold that, and it will take you to the app where you have, where you would normally see everything that you have recorded. And from here, on the top on the gear icon to go into settings where you can customize it. So, number one, resolution. I would say set, set it to the highest one, video quality. Uh, 16 to 20 uh, depending on what you want a high high quality you want it uh, 20 will be the best megabits per second uh, then orientation uh, just which way the device uh, thinks that it's always positioned so if you choose it to specific orientation that's how it's always gonna record it in uh, auto seems actually to be the best in my opinion because when you flip the device over it will detect it and automatically flip the recording as well then you have sound source, uh, choose whichever one you want. If you plan to add your voice to, to it, uh, you will choose mic. If you want just the sound uh, sound settings, or well, uh, for instance like games or whatever you'll be playing, then you go with the system sound. Now unfortunately there is no both of them at the same time. You can mute it, but you cannot have both uh, voice and uh, phone sound. Then you have... Uh, Fixed frame rate, um, record videos with a fixed frame rate, enhanced playback and social media. Uh, not really sure what that will do. Um, but then at the bottom, you have the frame rate. As, is it actually for this? Let's see. Oh, yeah. So it actually allows me to set a frame rate here. Not really sure how otherwise it would do it. Uh, but as you can see, you have 15, 24, 30, 48, and 60. Um, 15. Don't even look at that, um, that's just atrocious garbage. Um, 24, also garbage. Uh, 30, uh, only if you're really struggling for space on your device uh, is in terms of memory. Um, 48, kind of a wacky uh, frame rate here. Not really anything special, specific that uses that frame rate, so not sure why it's even here. Uh, and 60, uh, honestly, uh, the default and the only one that you should probably be using assuming you can handle this frame rate uh, in terms of how much storage will take um, once that's set you can just keep it and forget it um, then you have uh, lag screen to end so if you like the device it will end the recording show touch gestures whenever you touch on the screen to scroll up down uh, it will create a circle uh, where you can see on the video where you were pressing um, visualize navigation buttons, so you'll see the buttons. Uh, go, uh, go back to screen recorder, open screen recorder, start page after you stop recording. Uh, this is kind of redundant, you can do it by simply holding the toggle like I did to get into here. So once everything here is set, you can simply actually leave this, uh, tap on the recording and it will automatically start recording as you can see. And now whatever I will do will be recorded. Now unfortunately there is no way to also use camera. Some devices have that, but not this one. As you can see, once I tap on the square there to stop it, uh, it saves it. And like I said before also, the footage that I have recorded can be found in the app itself. So if I hold it, it's visible right here. Let's tap on it and you can, and you can see how it will look like. So that is basically the recording. And that is how you record anything on your device. Uh, I mean, anything to an extent. Some apps, keep in mind, uh, will block you. I'm pretty sure Netflix blocks recording of screen just so you don't uh, record TV shows and stuff like that. It's kind of uh, weird, but uh, there is few apps that will do that. So if your recording is just a black screen that means that the app is literally blocking your device from being able to record it but if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and thanks for watching